five reasons you should buy a shotgun 650. Can you tell I got a little scratchy thing? That's something to ease up the throat. I've been a little bit sick, guys. Welcome to Fast Lane. As you can hear, I'm a little bit under the weather right now. I'm not going through puberty again. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the five reasons that I think you should buy a shotgun 650. Without a lot of fluff, let's just jump right into it. Number one, it looks cool. So in an age of motorcycle companies changing their bikes to look more and more like something from outer space, you know what I'm talking about, Harley Davidson, and getting away from these classic looks, I absolutely think Royal Enfield is doing a killer, killer job keeping the classic looks of their motorcycle. Now, I know what Harley's trying to do in these, some of these other brands. They're trying to fill their bikes with all kinds of tech, and they want these things to be amazing. Here's the problem, and here's what my problem is with that. I don't want tech. I want my bike to be as simple as possible. If there's tech, I want it to be somewhere I don't even know that it's there. You know, you know what I'm saying? And that is exactly the case with Royal Enfield. Their tech is all hidden behind the scenes, except for that new Himalayan, of course. Their bikes are actually full of all kinds of tech, but you just don't see it. Amazing anti-lock brakes, top-notch fuel injectors, great linear power. They partnered up with Brembo, Showa Suspension, and you know they own Harris Frames. And I've preached this before. Well, there's a lot of sinners hereabouts. You wouldn't want me to leave before I finish my work, would you? You know, so it's gonna be a little bit of a rehash on this one, but I absolutely feel like as Harley has gotten rid of the original Sportster line and has brought in the new Nightster and not really the Sportster S because it's such a different bike, but the Nightster, it just doesn't fit the bill where a bike like this does. Matter of fact, if you're to see one of these rolling down the street, you're gonna probably mistake it at first for a Harley 48. Reason number two. These bikes are incredibly easy to maintain. That's one thing I love about them. Now you are gonna have to learn to adjust your own tappets, unless you wanna take it to the shop, which I don't, you know, you can do that if you want to, if you're busy or whatever. I personally think one of the most awesome things about owning a motorcycle is becoming one with the machine. One way you do that is to learn to work on the bike and do everything yourself. Now, no shade at all if that's not what you're into and you just wanna get on and ride the thing, you wanna drop it off the shop. That's fine. And maybe you're loaded with cash or maybe that's just where you wanna spend your money. But a lot of us, we don't have that kind of cash to drop our bikes off, nor do I Nor do I want to. Now, I'm not looking down on anybody if that's what they wanna do, it's fine. It's cool, do what you, do what you wanna do, you know what I say. So I certainly don't think I'm better than anybody else or anything like that, or I'm some elite group. Believe me, there's people that are far more capable on motorcycles than I am. Seriously, you're totally elitist. You feel like the unappreciated scholars, so you're shit on the people who know less than you. Which is everybody. Yeah. Yes. But I would preach the gospel that working on your own machine, getting to know your machine, modifying it, doing the maintenance, upgrades, whatever, you do that stuff yourself, then you are gonna become more in tune with your personal motorcycle. And I just find a lot of joy in it, man. I do not like, and I have never liked being tethered to like a dealership where I had to go take a bike or a car or anything else and get the oil changed. Detachable fenders for narrow garages. <laughs> no thanks. For one thing, you're gonna pay a lot more money when you do that. Think about it, Royal Enfield was making bikes in Britain in like 1901 and have not stopped. And I think maybe in like the 40s or something, they moved over to India. It's not true. That's impossible. And what do people need in India? Their roads are terrible and you don't have a mechanic right around the corner. So they've made these bikes. That's why a lot of them come with center stands. So you can absolutely work on these bikes on the side of the road, get the thing functional again and get yourself back home or wherever it is you're going. It's hot in here. Warming up outside. Would you take a minute and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Do it now, would you? I super appreciate you for it. Number three is smooth power delivery. I love the Shotgun 650 because it is incredibly smooth and not twitchy when you pull on the throttle. So in other words, this bike is a great bike that would be great not only for an experienced motorcycle rider, but even a beginner, man. And that is not something I would normally say probably with a 650. This bike, yes, if you're a beginner, you could start on this bike. And to tell you the truth, you might never want 
any more power than this. Four. Number four is obviously the price point of these machines. You're gonna get into these bikes for right around $7,000, okay? Now with freight charges and dock fees, license title registrations, blah, 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 you're gonna be probably closer to 8,000 out the door. But you are getting absolutely a lot for that 8,000 bucks. Number five. It is the rideability of these bikes. This bike practically stands up and rides itself. The handling on this machine is absolutely phenomenal. So amazing. Every time I get on it, today, I got on it and I just rode down to the store. And as I pulled out of the driveway and I'm riding down the road, I'm like, this thing, even when I feel terrible, even when I feel terrible, I can get on this machine and it is so easy to ride. It, it literally feels like it rides itself. You almost feel like you're just a, you're just a passenger on this machine and it is so cool, so confidence inspiring that I know you're gonna love it. Really quick, I wanna give a big, huge shout out to Chad and Royal Enfield North America for hooking me up with the Shotgun 650. I am having an absolute blast riding and reviewing this bike. I got a lot more to come. Hopefully they let me keep it for a lot longer. If there's something you wanna know that you haven't heard about, watch some of my other videos. Also comment below. Love to talk to you guys, man. Let's chat. Let's talk about motorcycles. Let's talk about life. I don't know, let's talk. Sure not to forget to hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Get your butt down to a Royal Enfield dealer and go for a test ride on the Shotgun 650. You're gonna love it. It's fast lane. I'm gonna loosen up the old vocal cords for a second. Me, 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 me.